Hi everyone, welcome back to the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. I'm Go Local News Editor Kate Nagel. Thanks for kicking off your Friday afternoon with us here in the studio. I'd like to welcome my next guest, Joanne Bellotta, the Campaign Manager for Choose Wisely with the Rhode Island Business Group on Health. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate this campaign is just kicking off. You just came from a big kickoff event. We did. We're very excited. We're now launching Choosing Wisely all throughout the state of Rhode Island. And um, the initiative itself is, is available to everyone. It's not just businesses, even though our name is Rhode Island Business Group on Health. But we are bringing it out to physician groups, to employers, to anyone in the community, um, because it's such an important topic. And the gist of the program really is about getting people to have a conversation with their doctor. Mm. Um, many people are afraid to ask their doctors questions. And sometimes the doctors, too, feel a little pressured by patients to prescribe things that they know really aren't necessary. So it's a really important dialogue. So we focus on um, providing information and education so that when patients are going for a physician visit, they bring this little wallet card ah, with them. Okay, so it's got the, it so you don't have the, to remember it. You've got it right there. Right here with you. So go through the litany of things sure. you should be discussing with your the doctor. The first thing you should be asking when a doctor is, uh, you know, prescribing a treatment or um, prescription for you for medication is, do I really need this procedure? You know, many times, you know, doctors are very busy. Um, they get maybe 15 minutes with the patient and mm -hmm. they don't have a lot of time to, you know, talk through these things. But, um, but if you're feeling like you, you may want to know more, you have the right to ask that question. Mm. So by asking, do I really need this procedure, starts that dialogue with the doctor. And he can go into you know, whether or not that treatment's right for you. The second question is, what are the risks, okay. right? Because many times um, you know, there may be side effects mm. to medications or to procedures that you might have. And you should be informed about that so Absolutely. you know ahead of time. Maybe there's another option for you. Mm. And that's the next one. Are there safer, simpler options available to me that might not require surgery or taking a medication? Um, that may cause side effects for you. You may have other opportunities. So you should ask that question. And then the next one is, what if it happens if I don't do anything, right? That's okay, because sometimes it's okay to do nothing and wait it out, because mm. it may ride out. Something like the flu, for example. Um, if you're taking, you're pushing to get an antibiotic, an antibiotic doesn't really work on a virus. So you may be taking something that will build up an immunity to that antibiotic, and when you really need it, it won't be there for you. Mm. And you could have bigger and better health issues from that. So, you know, asking if, if I do nothing, what, what are the consequences? And in that case, you write it out and you'll be better. Um, and then how much does this cost? <laughs> so many of us don't ask that question. Yep. Right? We shop for everything else. When we shop for TVs and cars, we always ask, how much does it cost? But when it comes to our health care, we just assume it's going to be covered. And then later on, we get this surprise bill for $10,000. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Where did this come from? It. Where did it come <laughs> from? So these are very important questions to be asking when you go in to your doctor. And your doctor wants to talk to you about mm. that. And I think a lot of people think that I shouldn't question my doctor or, or I'm afraid to question my doctor. But because of the Choosing Wisely campaign, the physicians are waiting for you to ask those questions. And they may even prompt them as well okay. from you. Well, it sounds like, again, a, a pretty uh, common sense approach to uh, really at the, at, the, at the crux of it, the health of the individual. Yes. But it's also looking at you know burgeoning health care costs. Absolutely. Both from a personal business and statewide perspective. So you kicked off the campaign today. What's next for the campaign um, besides coming to the press and getting the word out there? Uh, where are we going to find you next, Erin? The next place you're going to find me is out in the community talking about that, because you're absolutely right. The re reason why we're doing this, too, is about there was a study done by the National Academy of Medicine that said that $765 billion a year are spent on unnecessary tests and procedures. Okay. Okay, so these are things that people don't need. And that cost goes into what we're paying for health insurance. And if we can take that cost out by being better consumers of health care, mm. then, you know, then that's something that's going to make health care more affordable and accessible to more of us. And so by being out there, we're also convening a whole group of um, leaders from you know, the health insurance community, the physician community, the business community, because we all need to work together. This is kind of the approach that we took with the seatbelt campaign and the anti-smoking campaign. Mm. 
where we brought everybody together and we all had the same message, wear your seatbelt for safety. And that changed behavior. How many people don't wear a seatbelt these days? So if we can do that and we can cut out low value care and, and reduce healthcare costs by reducing unnecessary tests and procedures, think about how much we can, what can accomplish by doing that. And where are you going to be handing out these cards? Do people have to see you in person, or can they go online and say, help me out here? They can certainly go online. They can go on to choosingwisely.org. And if they go into choosingwisely.org, the patient resource um, section of that website has a list of not only these five questions, but it also has a, an array of materials that were developed by the American Board of Internal Medicine Foundation. And if you don't know who that is, that's when you hear a doctor is board certified. These are the people that are teaching and licensing and board certifying our doctors. They have developed this campaign and also all of the materials. So you can go on and you can find materials on lower back pain and imaging. Do I really need imaging? When do I need it? And what oh, are my so alternatives? Casey, so for a, a, a number of issues that you might be facing, so you can be armed with a little bit of, as you said, that board. Board certified in evidence-based information. But yep. there's over 110 patient-friendly materials that are available up on that website and an array of different topics and about 550 recommendations. So it's not only just it's for patients. It's not the card. It's, it's <laughs> more than the card. Um, physicians can also use it too because they have developed recommendations that physicians can use to have a dialogue with their patients and know what the latest and greatest evidence-based recommendation is for that particular procedure. So talk with us a little bit. You kicked it off today, and it sounds like obviously this was something that the business group on health was really focusing in on. I mean, this must have taken some time to really get all together. I mean, this must have, uh, I'm assuming, months, years in the making. We started our effort uh, back in 2015, and that started with getting a grant from the Rhode Island Foundation. They have been so generous with us. We've actually gotten two grants, and this second grant um, came at the beginning of this year and was for $90 million to help get the campaign rolling and get the message out across the state. So they've been very good to us. Uh, but we have been planning and working on this. We started a pilot back in 2015 with Coastal Medical, who has been wonderful, and they've incorporated it all throughout their practice. Um, and several uh, large businesses like Brown University um, was one of the early adopters in Amica Mutual Insurance. And that has grown. So now we have over 17 large companies yeah. that are participating in this and we have launched it out to all of our membership which is over 90 large employer groups throughout the state and um, and out there doing kind of a grassroots effort to knock on employer doors and saying hand this out to your employees get the message out um, and with physician groups as well so Ocean State Urgent Care is also joining and going to be putting it in all 20 of their locations um, as well as uh, University Medicine and we're talking to Rhode Island Primary Care so we're hoping to get um, as much of this out in physician practices as well as the employer locations. So you will see Choosing Wisely everywhere. Very good. And of course, if you watch after the fact, we'll be sure to have links up that if you want to read more, again, all of these resources available through the Choosing Wisely campaign through the Rhode Island Business Group on Health. Joanne, I appreciate your taking the time to come in today. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thanks so much. We appreciate your watching uh, for the Noontime Friday show here, kicking off folks' weekends a little early. We wish everyone a great Friday afternoon and weekend. Be sure to check in to golocalprov.com and catch us on Facebook throughout the weekend. And then again, it is a long one. So we'll see you back in studio next Tuesday here at the Navigate Credit Union Broadcast Center.